And he brought me to Lawson, and I got to speak during prayer meeting. And I'm here today. This is the last week I will be here in Oklahoma. I'm leaving Sunday to go back home. But it has been a great experience for me because I said I'm never coming back to Oklahoma. <laughs> the first time I came through, I said I ain't never coming back. But I got the call from the Lord, and my brother-in-law asked me to come, and I couldn't refuse and say no. Amen. We had a good time up in Enid. Amen. You know, a little small church, but the Lord is doing things up there now. When we first got there, we were knocking on doors, talking to people, trying to be friendly with everybody, and we got some people to come out. Amen. We got some people who became real good friends with us. Matter of fact, there were some people that have touched my heart Amen. that I'm going to stay in contact with for a long, long time. Amen. And I appreciate everything that the people in Eden did for me. Amen. And I must tell you, I appreciate Staying at the Hotel Footman. <laughs> I had a suite. TV in my suite. Nice bed in my suite. Got air conditioning. Even had a dog to play with. <laughs> Named Ava. And I was so glad for the experience of being up there. But I saw the Lord, Lord move in a mighty way. Amen. And when I ever come back to Oklahoma again, I hope he lets me come down here on Sabbath and preach. Amen. I didn't get down here this time, but I preached almost every Sabbath except two. Yep. Had the guest speaker and you. Yep. <laughs> up there. And I was appreciative of that. But I want to tell you that Jesus won't let us down. Amen. Jesus, the Pharisees didn't like him, couldn't stand him, but they couldn't stop him. That's right. Yes, that's right. Yes, sir. Pilate couldn't fault him. That's right. False witnesses couldn't condemn him. That's right. Yes, sir. Death couldn't handle him. In the grave, definitely could not hold him. Yes, and he's my Lord. Ooh, yeah. He's my God. Yeah. He's the one that I trust. Yeah. He's the one that I pray to yeah. every day. Yeah. I pray for my friends. I pray for my family. I pray for these churches yeah. that the Lord touch us and bring us in to a closer relationship with him. Yeah. We know we're living in the last days. I've heard it all my life from down here. Last day, last day, last day, last day. I even had the nerve to say, Lord, I ain't got a chance to go out and do my stuff. <laughs> Before the Lord come. Well, guess what? The Lord let me go out and do my stuff. <laughs> and I thank the Lord for allowing me to come back in. I've been through hell and high water. But the Lord has strengthened me That's right. and pulled me in. So I just pray for this church. And I'm going to continue to pray for the Lord and church. And I hope to see you the next time come back to, when I come back to Oklahoma and visit and get a chance to preach here. Amen. So I thank you so much just for this few moments. I give everybody, everybody a handshake and a hug because I will be leaving Sunday. Uh -huh. You got to give your testimony. Share your testimony. What she said? Share your testimony. My testimony? Yeah. My testimony? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My testimony. I'm going to tell it the way I would normally tell it to people. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm getting up to preach. There's a young man. This young man had a stroke. This same young man was found with spiral meningitis. This same young man 
almost drowned under ice in the wintertime. You know how when you're a child, you don't listen like you're supposed to. And this young man was visiting his cousins. And they went over to this area where they shouldn't have gone. They climbed over this tall fence to let you know you ain't supposed to be there. <laughs> it was the winter time. And it was ice all over the place. It was ice. And we just got, we had boots on and we sliding, you know, kids sliding, sliding. And all of a sudden, that young man saw this area that had not been touched. He went over there and started sliding and slipping, and all of a sudden, the ice broke. Mm -hmm. Near a waterfall. I'm, well, I'm talking about me now. I'm calling for my cousins to come and get me. But they're scared. They didn't want the ice to break on them. Finally, one of them got brave enough to slide out there and get me. And they had to pull me out of that water. And then we had to walk a mile back home. But our first thing we had to conquer was getting back over that fence. Now I'm soaking wet. And you know when you're wet and you touch metal, it sticks. So I don't know how long it took us to get over that fence. I don't know how long it took, but I remember walking back home cold as heck. Got back to my aunt's house and tried to sneak in the house. <laughs> dripping wet, dripping wet. And uh, my aunt says, where all this water come from? And I had ran upstairs and got in the hottest bathtub I could get in. Now they told me that was the wrong thing to do because I had been freezing yeah. in the jumping hot water. Mm -hmm. But the Lord saved me yeah. through that. Yeah. Yeah. And one night, I was walking out of my favorite nightclub when I wasn't with the Lord. A friend of mine handed me a joint. I started smoking it, going home in the car. Got a terrible, terrible headache. What is this stuff? Threw it out the window. I said, this stuff is making my head hurt. Went home. I figured I'd be all right in the morning. My head still hurt. Second day, my head still hurt. Third day, my head was killing me. Finally, I called my mother. And she's the last person I would want to call. Ma, I've had this terrible headache for three days. I haven't told anybody but you. She immediately got her best friend to take me down to the hospital. Now, the hosp they kind of looked at me kind of quickly and wanted me to come back the next day for some tests. And as we're walking out of the hospital, Walking outside on the walkway, my mother just stops. Come on, Ma, let's go. My head's killing me. No. I'm not comfortable with you leaving this hospital today. I'm going back in there and tell those doctors I want them to look at you. Now, I don't know what my mom said. All I know, my mom is black. <laughs> That's all I know. And the next thing I know, I'm back in the hospital. And what they found out was that I had a tumor oh, that's blocking flows of my spinal fluid, leaning on my optic nerve. And because I had waited those three days without telling anybody, they said, Within the next 24 hours, if I had not come in, I probably would have died from an aneurysm. So I thank the Lord for the Holy Spirit. Yes. 
to talk to my mom. Couldn't talk to me. My head was killing me. <laughs> Talked to my mom, and they didn't know whether it would be benign or malignant until after they went in. But I thank the Lord that it was benign. Yes, and they God. got it. Amen. And they let me. And Lord, the Lord has saved me. And he wanted me to be here in Oklahoma. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Oklahoma, and I'm glad here, glad to be here tonight at Lawton. I was glad to be up in Enid for these past eight weeks. I haven't seen my wife or my little daughter for these past eight weeks. <laughs> glad to be going home. <laughs> glad to be going home. I should be home sometime Sunday morning. Amen. Hopefully, with the Lord will. I ask you to pray for me, that the Lord continue to guide and lead me, and that um, I get to do something like what I did in Enid again. I've done it a few times, but it's good. Yes, I feel, it seems like when you look, walk, working for the Lord, in my mind, he was, seemed like he was telling me, if you're working for the Lord, he's trying to save you. Lord, if you got to do that to save me, give me something else to do. <laughs> so y'all take care. I'm going to shake hands with everybody, and we'll get ready to leave. And I'll keep you in my prayers. And keep me in your prayers also. May the, God, may the Lord bless you. Close out of prayer. Close out of prayer. Everyone stand. Close out of prayer. Everybody stand up, please. Let us pray. Dear Lord, our God, we thank you for another day of life. We thank you for the opportunity to bring us out to another prayer meeting, Lord. We know time is short. We know we're living in the last days. Lord, let not none of us in here today be lost. Yes. I want to see everyone in here yes. on the earth made new. Yes. Yes. Where you have your own home. And Lord, continue to bless these people here. Yes. And as they have the upcoming crusade, yes. that they be packed like it had been before yes. to yes. bring souls in. Yes. So we just say thank you. Thank you, thank you for being with us. Thank you for being our Lord, yes. our God, our Savior. Yes. In the precious name of your son, Jesus, we say thank you in his name. Yes. Amen. 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 Please be seated.